The life of Pierre Omidyar is remembered in Silicon Valley history as an example of tenacity, creativity, and of second chances. The man who founded eBay is a visionary who changed the face of e-commerce only to watch his brainchild collapse before ultimately recovering its position at the forefront of online auctions. Today, we will take a look at the fascinating story of Pierre Omidyar and examine eBay's extraordinary rise, disastrous fall, and triumphant re-emergence as a business that transformed the way we buy and sell. Pierre Omidyar, the son of an Iranian couple, was born in Paris on June 21, 1967. Omidyar went to school in Punahou, located in Honolulu, Hawaii. He stayed there for two years, after which he continued his education in St. Andrew's Episcopal School in Maryland in 1984. Prior to embarking on this journey, Omidyar's love for computers had already been kindled during his formative years when he was a mere ninth grader. This early fascination laid the foundation for his remarkable path. He went on to complete his undergraduate degree at Tufts University before earning his bachelor's degree in computer science in 1988 from Berkeley. Soon after that, he and some of his colleagues co-founded a business in 1991 that offered online purchasing. But just five years after the launch of the web shop, it was sold to Microsoft. In 1995, he developed a prototype for Auction Web on his personal website. His shattered laser pointer was the first thing being offered for sale. He used it as a test to determine if there was actually a market for such items. Eventually, he succeeded in selling his laser pointer. That gave him the drive needed to continue innovating. Before the end of 1996, Auction Web was already hosting over 250,000 auctions, and towards 1997, it became so big that it began to host close to 2 million auctions. Talk about hitting the jackpot! However, great achievements have great obstacles, and for Omidyar, it was his competitors. In the year 1999, Omidyar experienced what it feels like to rise and fall. Users experienced multiple service outages, one of them lasting up to 22 hours. But Omidyar swiftly took action to regain their trust. He and his employees called 10,000 of the site's most frequent users, apologizing for the disruptions and reassuring them that every effort will be made to keep the service operational moving forward. And so, eBay remained successful throughout the dot-com bust of 2000, while many other internet businesses failed. Despite its rapid growth, eBay's road to success was not so smooth. Omidyar's eBay received criticism for the way it handled cases of fraud and fake goods, not to mention the 2005 purchase of Skype, which, as we know, turned out to be a costly oversight. Additionally, the company's growth trajectory was further hampered by PayPal's departure from eBay in 2015. The rise of e-commerce giants like Amazon, offering organized and tailored shopping, worsened eBay's issues. Amazon's enormous selection and effective logistics quickly eclipsed eBay's image as a treasure trove of rare items. The influence of Pierre Omidyar goes beyond the boundaries of eBay. He is a social entrepreneur, a leader in the digital era, and a philanthropist who is dedicated to changing the world for the better. His life is an example of resiliency, flexibility, and a strong faith in the ability of technology to connect and empower people. The Ushahidi, Swahili for testimony, software enables users to construct maps from data supplied by mobile phone users. It was created by the Omidyar family as a philanthropic venture backed by the Omidyar network. 
It was initially developed to track damage from the Gulf of Mexico oil leak incident, also used in finding trapped survivors in the tumultuous Haitian earthquake. Thanks to the assistance of the Omidyar network, CrowdMap, a free, user-friendly, web-based version of the application, is now accessible online. As one of the 40 billionaires who promised to donate at least half their wealth to charity after their death, Pierre Omidyar joined Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates and investor Warren Buffett on the list. In 2014, Omidyar founded the investigative news organization The Intercept, where journalists like Glenn Greenwald, Laura Poitras, and Jeremy Scahill report on national security and surveillance issues made public by Edward Snowden. Omidyar has now devoted himself to topics related to media and free expression, such as his involvement in the movie Spotlight, which ended up winning the 2015 Best Picture Oscar. The movie details the Boston Globe's investigation into sexual abuse by Catholic priests. In September 2020, Pierre Omidyar resigned from the eBay Board of Directors. With a net worth of over $10 billion, he continues to be the company's largest individual shareholder. Today, Pierre Omidyar still has his place at the top as one of the most influential personalities in the world. His life and career has inspired many young people. Pierre Omidyar is worth $6.2 billion today, and that's huge for someone who came from basically nothing. The path of Pierre Omidyar is a fascinating story of creativity and tenacity. His experience reminds us that success is not a straightforward journey, but a path with challenges and chances for personal growth along the way. His contributions to technology, philanthropy, and the quest for a more equal world are included in his legacy, showing us that it goes well beyond eBay. Pierre Omidyar's tale acts as a beacon showcasing the potential for technology to empower people and the responsibility we have to use our wealth to create a brighter future for everybody as we navigate an increasingly linked and complex world. Entrepreneurs and social change agents all around the world are inspired by his rise, fall, and subsequent rise. Let us know if this video inspired you in the comments below. We would love to see your dreams. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe so you can see more interesting videos from us. See you next time. Thanks for watching.